Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to this time of refreshing this special program to round off the Abundant Life in Christ Jesus teaching series. The Lord has loaded us so much from January, February, March, and this is the time of refreshing. This time of refreshing is a time and not just to have head knowledge, not just uh, to be able to um, repeat the teaching, but to assimilate and experience what the Spirit of God has taught us so far. So, one more time, you are welcome. Let us pray. In Jesus' name, let us all thank God for making it possible for us to be partakers, participants of this occasion, this meeting, this summit of abundant life in Christ Jesus. Go ahead and thank God. Lord, I thank you for making it possible for me to be a partaker, to participate, to be a beneficiary of this program, this great blessing that you have ordained to bless me, to bless my brothers and sisters. Thank you, almighty God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Now let's go ahead and tell him, Heavenly Father, please take over this meeting and bless me indeed. Bless me indeed. Even as we have sung, fill my cup, Lord. Tell him, Lord, I have come that you might fill my cup. I have come to drink. I have come to, 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 to drink, to be satisfied. Every thirst in me to be satisfied. That's what this is about, brothers and sisters. So go ahead, tell him, Father, I hand over this program to you. I ask, Lord, take glory in this program. Take over this program. Lead us by your spirit. And Lord, for me, for me, personally, and for my brothers and sisters, Lord, fill our cup. Fill our cup. We are lifted up to you, Lord. Fill our cup. I have come to drink of that water of life. I have come, Lord, that you might fill me. I have come to experience the abundant life in Christ Jesus. Father, take over. Fill me. Fill my cup. Fill the cup of all participants, my brothers and sisters. And Lord, let me be blessed mightily here. And let all participants be blessed. And let all glory be to you, our Father. Thank you, our Lord and our King. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Now I want you to pray further and say, Heavenly Father, thank you for the strength you have given unto every one of us to wait upon you today. To this moment, we thank you for the grace, the strength you have given us to wait upon you. In fasting, in prayer, in studying your word, we thank you, Lord. Thank you for the grace. Thank you for the strength. We do not take it for granted. And so we thank you. To you, our Father, and our God, we all glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to round off this uh, opening session. Brothers and sisters, join me to say a loud amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of our Lord and our King, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us together in this special program this time of refreshing. Lord, we hand over ourselves to you and we hand over this program to you. We ask, Lord, that you will be mightily glorified, our Father in heaven. We ask, Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, our King, our Redeemer, our everything, you will be mightily glorified in this program. And we ask, Holy Spirit of God, lead us Help us, our teacher, our counselor, fill us, 
and let all be according to the will of God in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we remember all your children, everyone you've ordained to be blessed by this program. We ask, Lord, that you draw them unto yourself. And let everyone be mightily blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So one more time, brothers and sisters, welcome to day one of this time of refreshing. Time of refreshing. Just as we sang, fill my cup, Lord. The objective and the aim of this program is that the Almighty God will fill us, is that what we have been taught, we will experience it in our lives. And so we want to take our texts of this program from John chapter 4, verse 14. John chapter 4, verse 14. And let's read it together. The text is John chapter 4, verse 14, which we also shared uh, on the invite. Please open your Bible with me to take that text together. John chapter 4, verse 14. But whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water, springing up into everlasting life. Oh, we're talking about abundant life in Christ Jesus. That that abundant life is a well, a well that flows continually, that springs up into everlasting life. It is life flowing continuously in us. And so we have come here to drink of that water. Hallelujah. That water that Jesus alone, only those who are in Christ Jesus can drink. Only those who are in Christ Jesus have the right to drink. And through Jesus Christ, we drink that water of life. In the Abundant Life teaching, we've taken our text from John chapter 10, verse 10b, where Jesus said, I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. And also from Second Peter chapter two, sorry, Second Peter chapter one, verse two to four. Let's read it again. Grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord as his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue, by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through these you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through loss. Divine nature is by the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. And the Bible makes it clear here that this divine nature, we are partakers. We are partakers if we receive the Spirit of God. And by that divine nature, uh, by the Spirit of God that has been given to us, we enjoy this abundant life by his divine power, by his divine power. And so that sets the context of this, the, folk, uh, the context and the focus. We have come that our cup, our vessel might be filled up. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. 
We have come that the Almighty God will renew us, renew his divine deposit, the deposit of his nature in us. Oh, glory be to God. The deposit of his spirit in us. We have come to be renewed. That's what we're going to be doing throughout this week, brothers and sisters. Are you ready for this life? Are you ready for the overflow life? Oh, I'm excited about it. And so now we go back to the focus because we want to pray. It is time to be filled. Our focus then for today is repentance and rededication, which is our day one. So focus for day one is repentance and rededication of our lives. Still remembering John chapter 4, verse 14, whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing, in, springing up into everlasting life. We have come to drink that water. So to start this day one, we want to repent. We want to look at our lives. We want to ask him, Lord, whatever may be there that doesn't allow me to drink of this water, remove it. Because we know that abundant life comes by the degree of the love of God that is in us. And the measure of the love that we have for God and the love of God in us is in our obedience. The measure of God's love in us is in our obedience. So in what way have we disobeyed? That's why we have to present ourselves. And the scripture says that we should present ourselves a living, a living sacrifice unto God, holy and acceptable unto him. So let's look at Habakkuk chapter 3, which is where we will start praying. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 2. I prefer to look at it in the living uh, NIV. So uh, I have on my table... New King James Version, which I will read. Uh, but let's look at it in NIV as well. So the New King James Version says, O oh Lord, I have heard your speech, and I was afraid. O oh Lord, revive your work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make it known. In wrath, Remember mercy. Let's see what New King James Version helps us to understand that in a simpler way. He said, Lord, I have heard of your fame. I stand in awe of your deeds. Oh, Lord, renew them in our day. In our time, make them know. Hallelujah. That's what we're talking about. Lord, make known your divine power in me. Lord, renew me. How does this come? He said, in wrath, remember mercy. So it is by the mercy of God. And so let us start this prayer. Today, day one, our focus is repentance and rededication. Tell him, Heavenly Father, I repent of every disobedience in any way I have come short in my obedience to your commandment, your commandment of love and all the details of it. We know the details of the commandment. We're still going to look at it. 
Father, in any way I have come short, I repent. I repent. So go ahead and repent. Yes, that's prayer number one. Father, by your mercy, by your mercy, I come before you, O God. I come to the mercy seat. I come to the throne of mercy. I come to your throne of mercy, almighty God, in the name of Jesus. I repent, Father, in any way I have come short of your expectation for my life. In any way I have come short, Lord, whatever sin, whatever iniquity, whatever transgression, whatever disobedience, whatever ignorance, whatever, Lord, is in my life that has made me come short of enjoying the fullness of your abundant life. That abundant life that you have promised me, that abundant life that you have given to me. Father, whatever it is in my life, whatever offense there may be, oh God, I repent. Go ahead. And you may know some as you speak, the spirit of God will prick your heart. Go ahead and confess them before your father. Go ahead and hand them over to God. It is between you and your father. In wrath, remember mercy. Lord, I come by your mercy. I come before your throne of mercy, before your throne of grace. Lord, we come and we plead your mercy upon our lives and we repent. Oh God, I repent, Father. I repent, my God Almighty, of my weaknesses, Lord. I repent. I repent of my shortcomings. I repent. I repent of my inadequacies. Almighty God, forgive. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, my Father and my God. I repent of my sins, my iniquities, my transgressions, my errors, my mistakes, my ignorance. Lord God Almighty, I repent. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me and forgive me all. All, all, in the name of Jesus. Forgive me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Forgive me, Father, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, Almighty King. In Jesus. Mighty name, we have prayed. Want to take that prayer again deeper? I want, you know, the Bible says that we should stand in the gap for one another. And so we're going to stand in the gap and plead God's mercy. But before we stand in the gap for another person, Let's stand in the gap for ourselves. So let's look at those details again. Matthew chapter 22. Remember Matthew chapter 22 was one of the references. Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? Verse 36 is where I'm reading from. Then 37, Jesus said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul. And with all your mind, this is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. And then we looked at Romans. Go with me again so we remind ourselves. Romans chapter 10. Sorry, Romans chapter 13, rather. Romans chapter 13. Um, verse 9, which is actually the sum, summation of all that the synoptic gospels have written about this. Verse 9. For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not be a false witness, 
You shall not covert. And if there is any other commandment are all summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no harm to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. We want to plead again and say, Father God, I repent in any way I have come short in loving you, loving you, Almighty God. Come short by your own standard of law, your own standard of obedience to your commandment, Father. In any way, I have come short in my life. I have no power of my life. Forgive me. Forgive me, Almighty God. In any way, I have come short. For some of us, it may not be uh, the detailed specifics of those six elements that Romans chapter 13 have enumerated. For some of us, it will sit in the other space of any other, if there is any other commandment, they have all been summed up in love. Love for God. Love for God. And love for our neighbors as ourselves. All this is only possible by the Holy Spirit. Well, go ahead and repent. Father, I repent. My Father, my God, I repent of any aspect of your love that I may have come short. Lord, have mercy on me. Father, forgive me in the name of Jesus. Now let's plead that mercy for one another. Say, Heavenly Father, we plead your mercy on behalf of one another. My brothers, my sisters, everyone here, as we repent, Lord, please forgive. Please, Lord, forgive. Remove every offense from our lives. Go ahead and pray that prayer. Pray it seriously. Let's pray for one another. We are going to come to the families. Plead that mercy of God. Oh, plead that mercy. Plead that mercy of God. We repent. Oh, repent. We plead the mercy of God on behalf of one another. Bible says, if my people who are called by my name, my people who are called by my name, shall humble themselves, shall come and repent, shall forsake their iniquities. He said, I will hear, and I will hear, and I will heal their land. I was just speaking with uh, another uh, man of God today, and we're talking about certain aspects of things. And he just said, Pastor Godwin, you know, this is a spirit that overtakes these people. I will just leave it there. And I say, ah, that thing you have said is so profound. You know, many people get into certain things and they just take it like it's something they can reason out by logic. Some people get into certain habits, get into certain associations, and they think, yeah, it's just normal thing. Let me just give an illustration. Like some young people, not young people, in fact, people who get engrossed in pornographic materials, all this muteness, the muteness that have been released in the world is to capture your mind. So be very careful with the things that you spend your time on, on the internet and Instagram and social media. It is to take your mind. There are spirits that operate from certain uh, 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 movies, pornographic materials, muteness that is being sent out all over the world. So some people are becoming addicted and they can do nothing. They can no longer walk because of addiction to social media. But it's not just social media that is the issue, isn't the problem. It's the kind of things that you spend your time on, on social media, that has taken your self-discipline away. And once that your self-discipline is gone, 
next thing will be to fall into some of those descriptive sin that have been described. Not only staying in the level of saying, oh, uh, is my love complete in God? And so let's go ahead and repent and pray for one another. Whoever has been captured, that's why we have come together, that the Almighty God by his mercy will deliver such a person. But you have to be willing to repent. And so go ahead and plead. Father, we come together and we plead by your mercy, O God. Forgive and deliver all your children. In any way, any one of us has come short of your glory, come short of your standard, come short of your obedience, Father. We plead, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Forgive us, O God. Forgive us, Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Let's pray again and say, Heavenly Father, this time for our family, let's plead now and say, Lord, by your mercy, we stand in the gap and we repent on behalf of our families. Those that are with us here and those that are, with not with, that are not with us, Lord, we plead by your mercy. Father, we repent on their behalf. And we ask, Lord, that you forgive, O oh God, and deliver every member of our families from sin, from iniquity, from errors, from transgressions. Lord, transgressions of your commandment. Lord, we plead your mercy. Father, have mercy on, your, on our families, on our spouses, on our children, on everything, everyone, rather, that is connected with us. Lord, we plead your mercy. Have mercy. Thank you, our Lord and our God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. So now we're going to pray again. It's time to dedicate ourselves to God. And we're going to pray and say, Heavenly Father, make our obedience complete. Make our obedience complete, Lord. Make our obedience complete. Help us by your Holy Spirit. Make our obedience complete. Help us by your Holy Spirit. Father God, anything any one of us may have been struggling with or not even aware that we need to overcome. Lord, we pray, help us by your spirit to overcome that habitual sin, that lifestyle, whatever it is, Lord, help us. Lord, we plead that you make our obedience complete. Make our obedience complete in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, brothers and sisters, go ahead and begin to plead the blood of Jesus upon yourself. We plead the blood of Jesus. We come by the blood, the blood that has been shed for us, the blood of the everlasting covenant. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. I cleanse myself. I plunge in that cleansing flood of the blood of Jesus. We cleanse ourselves in the blood. Go ahead and plead the blood on yourself and on you uh, and for yourself. This is now personal. Use the blood, the blood of Jesus. The blood of the everlasting covenant that God Almighty has made with me, made for me. The blood that Jesus has shed for me, the blood that has atoned for me. I cover myself with that blood and let the blood wipe away every offense, anything whatsoever may have stood against me, may have hindered me in the spiritual, in the physical. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus the blood of the everlasting covenant, the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than that of Abel. Let that blood cover me, cover you, cover us, cover my household and cleanse us and wash us and make us whole. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. So now pray and say, Heavenly Father, I dedicate my life to you. I dedicate my heart to you. I dedicate my body, my soul, my spirit. I dedicate my everything, everything to you. Lord, take over my life. Take over my body, my soul, my spirit, my mind, my thoughts, my heart, my eyes, my seeing, my ears, my hearing, my mouth, my speaking, everything in me. Lord, take over my senses, 
take over everything, take over my temperament, Lord, take over my entire being, spirit, soul, and body, body, soul, and spirit, take over my entire life in all dimensions of life and existence, spiritual, physical, material, social, mental, logical, emotional, all aspect of life and existence. Lord, take over my life. I dedicate my life to you. I dedicate and rededicate my life to you. Now, now, Lord Jesus, I dedicate my life to you. Heavenly Father, I dedicate my life to you. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and give him all, give him all, give him all, give him all. Oh Lord, I dedicate all my being, my entire being to you, body, soul, and spirit, spirit, soul, and body. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Romans chapter 12, Romans chapter 12, note it down and open it with me and let's read. As we said, that abundant life is coming to that place where we prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. But how does it come? Let's read from verse, uh, verse one and, verses 1 and 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Raise your voice to him and say, Heavenly Father, I present my body to you as a living sacrifice. Lord, make me holy acceptable to you. Father, make my service, my work, my everything acceptable to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray and say, Father, transform me, transform my life, transform my mind, renew my mind, renew me, renew me, body, soul, and spirit, spirit, soul, and body, renew me, O oh God Almighty, renew every aspect of my life and transform my life and make my life conform to your standard, to the image of the Son of God. Make my life conform. Thank you, Almighty God. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Now let's go to John chapter 4, and then we'll come back to Habakkuk and round up. John chapter 4, verse 14, which is our text for this program. Oh, fill my cup, Lord. It is time to be filled. But whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water, springing up into everlasting life. I want us to follow up this water is by the Holy Spirit. This water of life, this life flows by the Holy Spirit. Look at John chapter 7. Let's look at it from, verses, uh, from verse 37, rather. From verse 37, I will read to verse 39. On the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart, King James Version says, out of his belly, will flow rivers of living water. Look at 39, these rivers of living water. Read it with me. But, he's, but this he spoke concerning the spirit whom those believing in him would receive. For the Holy Spirit was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified. So this living water is talking about the Holy Spirit. This everlasting, this water, this fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. 
It is the spirit continually flowing, producing, manifesting the life in us. Are you ready for this water? Oh, this is what we'll be drinking every day throughout this special program. And so raise your voice to heaven now and tell him and say, Heavenly Father, I release myself to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, fill me, O oh God. Give me this water of life to drink, Lord Jesus, the Son of God, the one through whom the Father has given us eternal life. Give me this living water. Give me the everlasting water, Lord Jesus. Let this everlasting water fill me, fill me. Give me this everlasting water to drink, this water of life, this living water. Almighty God, Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus, give me the water of life, the living water to drink. Give me the living water. Give me the living water and satisfy every thirst in me, every thirst, Lord, every thirst. In the first instance, let your spirit, O oh God Almighty, lead my life according to your will, that my life, Father, will be in consonance with your good, acceptable, and perfect will. Your good, and acceptable and perfect will lead my life by your spirit in the name of Jesus. One more time, pray and say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, my heavenly Father, my heavenly Father, I yield my body, my soul, my spirit to you. Fill me now with your living water, the water of your spirit. Quench every thirst every thirst in me by your living water and let that living water flow in me now. Let that water, your living water, spring up into everlasting life. Let your living water produce, produce the everlasting life in me, produce your eternal life in me. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Just keep praying. Father, almighty God, my heavenly Father, fill me with the living water in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Fill me, O oh God, with your living water. I release myself to you. Fill me, Lord, with your living water and let every thirst in me be satisfied. Let every thirst be satisfied. Let every thirst be satisfied. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, now go ahead and pray and say, Holy Spirit of God, the Spirit of God that has been given to me, the fountain of life, oh, spring up, oh, fountain of life, out of my belly, out of my heart, spring up, oh, fountain of life, and flow, let that life flow in me now, that life that God Almighty has given to me, the eternal life, the life that has been given to me in the name of Jesus, that living water flow, Holy Spirit flow out of my belly, out of my belly, out of my heart, flow, flow in the love of God, flow, flow in the fruit of the Spirit, flow in the gift of the Holy Spirit, flow in the strength, the power to do the will of God, flow Oh, spirit of life, flow rivers of living water, welled up in my belly and flow. Rivers of living water, welled up in my belly and flow. Flow, welled up in my heart and flow. Take over my whole life and let my life, let that water, let that water of life flow in me continually, permanently, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Lord and my God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Oh, beloved brothers and sisters, this is the kind of prayer and the moment you should continually have that this living water will never run dry in you, will never cease to flow. You are a well of 
water, water of life. You are a well. There is a well in you. I want to just look at that, that John chapter 7 again. Let's hear it again. Jesus said, he who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. You combine that with John chapter 14 again. Jesus, uh, John chapter 4, verse 14, he says, But the water that I shall give him will become in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. New King James Version said, A fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. Pray again and say, Holy Spirit of God, I yield myself to you. My body is your temple. Oh, Holy Spirit, well, well of living water, fountain of water of life, flow now in me, flow from my belly, flow from my heart, flow through me, that everything that comes out of me will be life, will be life, will be life, will be life. Go ahead and pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Pray that prayer, brothers and sisters. Oh, that the Spirit will help us and guide us to understand. Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God. The fountain of living water. The well of living water that has been given to me out of my belly, out of my heart, in my entire life. Body, soul, and spirit flow, flow, and whatever comes out of me, let it be life, let it be life, let it be that life, that life, that life, that fountain of life, that everlasting life, flow in me and flow through me. Thank you, almighty God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We want to round off now with Habakkuk chapter 3. That new King James Version, it says, renew your walk. Renew your walk. Renew your walk. And that's what today is about. So raise your voice to heaven with me and pray and say, Father God, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, I stand in awe of you, Lord, in awe of your great deeds. And I ask, Almighty God, Renew your work in my life and in my days. Renew your work in my life and in my days. Renew your work in my own time. Renew your work. Make it known. Make it known. Make it known. In my family, Lord, renew your great work. I stand in awe of you, O oh God. And I ask Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, renew your work, your awesomeness. Your great work, renew it in my life, in my family, and in my own time, Lord, renew, renew your work. Renew them in our day, O oh God. Renew them, O oh God Almighty, in our time. Make known, make known your great power, your awesomeness in my life. By your mercy, O oh God, renew your work in me. Renew your spirit in me. Renew your power in me. Renew your presence in me. Renew your walk, O oh God. Renew your walk, O oh God, in us. Go ahead and pray. And make that prayer now specific. What aspect of this abundant life do you want the Lord to renew in you? Go ahead, make it specific. Make it specific. Go ahead and pray. Oh, today is repentance and rededication. We rededicate ourselves to God our Father in heaven, to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and we heal our bodies to the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit of God, the living water, fill us and flow through us. Father, renew your walk in our lives. Renew your walk in our day. Renew your walk in our time. Make known, O oh God, your power. Thank you, our Father and our God. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are praised. Finally, we want to pray for the continuation of this program that is pray for tomorrow. And just to again give you 
um, uh, up front, tomorrow is a day of intercession. Tomorrow is the day of intercession. Tomorrow is the day of intercession. Glory be to God. The day of intercession. And so we're going to be focusing on intercession. Intercession. We want to pray together now. And let's thank God for how far he has brought us today. And then thank him ahead of tomorrow and ask that the Lord will go ahead of us tomorrow. He will take over this program tomorrow. He will lead us tomorrow. Go ahead and pray. Father, we thank you for how far you have led us. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. Thank you, O oh God Almighty, for hearing and answering all our prayers. Thank you, Lord, for filling our cup, filling our vessels that we presented to you today. And now, our Heavenly Father, we pray that you continue with us in this program. We hand over tomorrow's intercession focus into your hand and we pray lord go ahead of us and make all things well lord we thank you for the strength you have given unto us to wait upon you today with fasting and prayer and studying of your word and so heavenly father we ask lord as we bring this meeting to a close now father let your holy spirit Strengthen us. Let your Holy Spirit take over and pray for us, even the prayers we have not prayed. Oh, let the Holy Spirit intercede for us. Oh, your perfect will, your acceptable will, your good will, oh, you have ordained for us. Let all be fulfilled in our lives. And let all glory be to you, our God. We are so grateful, Father, for this privilege you have given to us to come before you. Thank you for renewing us. Thank you for giving us the living water to drink. Oh, we drink of that life-giving water, that life-giving spirit of God. We receive him, the Holy Spirit. Thank you, our God. To you be all glory. In the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we pray that every life you have ordained to be a partaker of this blessing, you will draw them unto yourself, unto yourself that tomorrow they will partake of this program. Thank you, our Lord and our God. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. The text for you to focus on is Psalm 22. Psalm 22, read the whole Psalm 22 for tomorrow. Um, our specific focus will be 19 through 21. We'll read the whole Psalm 22. And the Spirit of God continue to guide us in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to close here. And I pray that the Spirit of God strengthen you as we continue tomorrow in day two, day of intercession day of intercession and will continually drink of this life-giving water this water this living water don't forget to continually drink of it this is where uh, we will close but before you go you may have a very specific prayer need that you came with Take one minute and commit it to God, and we're just going to agree. Whatever your own prayer needs, prayer request is. Remember, we have been studying the synoptic gospel, and we have also, um, we've always been referring to it, Matthew chapter 18, verse 19. You know it, 
So you go ahead and pray. Present your request to your father in the name of Jesus. Jesus has given us the authority, the power of attorney to use his name to obtain, receive whatever we ask the father. Matthew chapter 18, verse 19. So pray, present your, pray, present your request and we will just agree according to Matthew chapter 18, verse 19. Let's round off our personal request in Jesus' mighty name. Matthew chapter 18, verse 19. Again, I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. Let us agree. You just say amen with me. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we agree according to your faithfulness, according to your word, that abides forever. That all that we have asked, collectively and individually, Lord, our Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, in agreement, do them for us. And Almighty God, we ask that much more than we have asked. We agree that all your purpose your will, your plan for our lives. In this year, 2022, you will fulfill all of them. You bring them all to pass. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Let's share the grace as we close. Tomorrow, 6 p.m., we will connect again. And we will be sharing some notes on the WhatsApp. You already have uh, got the focus for tomorrow, the theme for tomorrow, and the um, text. And our overall theme, uh, text for this program remains John chapter 4, verse 14. Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely. Goodness and mercy shall follow me, follow you, follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. The Almighty God fill you with his divine life, and let that abundant life overtake you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.